The following is an excerpt from a Gallup poll done in June of 2015. As Independence Day approaches, most in the U.S. say they are proud to be an American, including a slight majority, 54%, who are extremely proud. The percentage saying they are extremely proud is slightly lower than in recent years and down from peaks that are around 70% between 2002 and 2004, which is after 9-11. Results from this Gallup poll are based on telephone interviews conducted on June 7th to 7th, 2015, with a random sample of 1,527 adults aged 18 and older living in all US 50 U.S. states and the District of Columbia. We are going to do some margin of error uh, and polls problems based off this information. So, A, what's the population? Well, remember, population is the wide net. All adults, because adults technically are 18 and older, living in the U.S. And I'm going to go ahead and say D.C. I mean, D.C. is technically part of the U.S., but because they specified it, I'm going to go ahead and specify it as well. Now, when they say what's the sample, remember the sample is the actual number. So 1,527 adults living in the U.S. and D.C. So then let's go ahead and estimate the margin of error, knowing that the margin of error is 1 divided by the square root of the sample size. So one, that's hard to see. So 1 divided by the square root of 1,527 gives me a 0 .0256 or a 2.56% margin of error. So that's kind of, you know, our range, our leeway. Now in number four, let's calculate a confidence interval. So we had 54% of Americans who were extremely proud, plus or minus our margin of error of 2.56%. So when I take 54 and I subtract 2.56, I get 51.44%. And when I add 2.56, I get 56.56%. This is our confidence interval. Now, write a statement using that. We always want to start our statements by saying, we are 95% confident, because that's the confidence rate that we're using, right? Our 90%, 95% margin of error. So we are 95% confident that. And then we're going to switch to our, um, our interval, that 51.44% to 56.56% of who? Of <clears throat> American adults, and what are they doing? We are 95% confident that American adults are extremely proud to be an American. <clears throat> so if you've ever played Mad Libs, I think of these statements kind of as Mad Libs. You always start with confident. We are 95% confident. Then you go to your confidence interval. Then you go to your population, and last, what are they doing? So there's really four pieces to this statement. And finally, letter F, can it be concluded that most Americans are extremely proud when you use this poll? And the answer is yes. Because most and a majority is above 50%. So when you use your, your, your confidence interval as 51.44 to 56.56%, the whole thing is above 50%. And because the entire interval is above 50%, then you can conclude yes. If for any reason part of that would be under 50, then you would say no. Number five, let's go to a different problem. So we've got a thousand registered voters were asked what candidate they were likely to vote for and these were their answers. By how many percentage points does Sunny lead Lady? Well, 48.4 minus 46.8. There is a difference of 1.6%. So that's it's not a very big lead. I don't feel confident if I'm Sunny, right? So now it says, let's find the margin of error. There's a thousand people, let's find the margin of error. So if we take one divided by the square root of a thousand, that gives me a margin of error of 0 0.032, which is 3.2%. So we know that any of these answers could be right or wrong by 3.2%. So can you predict a winner based off this information? I say no. And when you say why or why not, I could be like this. Well, we know the margin of error is 3.2%. Let's pretend that Sunny goes down 3.2% 
and Lady goes up 3.2%. Well, that puts him at 45.2, and that puts her at 50 even. Lady wins. Or Sunny gets the 3.2 above, Lady goes down, and Sunny wins. You can't predict it because of the margin of error. All right? Now, when we look at POTS, part two, what proportion of votes can POT expect to get? Well, right now, POT is at 2.7%, and we know the margin of error is 3.2%. So if you subtract 3.2, you can't get less than zero. So you could get 0% all the way up to 5.9%. Right? So POT could expect to get as many as 5.9% of the votes, which is still just not very many. And I believe that is the end of the application.